any and everybody in the ranching business in South Texas is exposed to imminent danger anytime they go out on their property. The media doesn't report a tenth of what, what we see out there. People from the other side of the river, from the Mexican side, were shooting the vehicle. Two shots were fired. Each one of them hit within 18 inches of each man. And they immediately crawled up the wall to get out immediately and, and were shot at again. You know, we're not secure. The borders are not secure. We're porous. They just bring um, drugs and load right in front of you. The nasty word spillover, no one likes to hear it, but it's here. These farmers and these ranchers are at a point where they're afraid to go onto their own land. Everybody sleeps with a rifle or a shotgun in their bedroom. I have two kids that I can't let play outside. I'm hoping that the state or, or federal government can realize the type of activity going on right in our own homeland. A lot of people have quit and they've left and gotten out of the cattle business and now they're trying to sell their property, but they can't even sell the property because of the human trafficking through the property. I've, I've often thought about just folding up camp and going somewhere else. The drug cartels are here, and they're not just in this area or, or the valley, you know, South Texas. They're, they're further north. They're well into the United States. Their objective is not to, to come to Texas. Their objective is to come into the United States. So it, this is a United States problem.